So this is probably one of the most anticipated builds that everyone has been requesting to feature on the channel and we finally got our hands on one. This over here is a stage 2 VW Virtus 1 litre TSI automatic. It's done up by Venom Performance and Czech Engines Hyderabad and today we're going to tell you all about this amazing build. Let's not mess about and directly talk about the engine and the mods done to it. So while I'm talking about the mods and the power and all of that, I'm also going to be giving you a cost breakdown as to how much it costs to make your Virtus a stage 2 car. So let's quickly put this latch over here and yep, this is the engine bay of the Virtus and it doesn't look any different to any of its siblings which have the same engine. Stock, the 1 litre TSI used to make 110 bhp and uh, approximately 175 newton meters of torque but now it has a BMC air filter which roughly costs 10,000 rupees. It also has a downpipe, 2.5 inch piping and a Borla end can and that approximately costs 40,000 rupees and it has a stage 2 remap by Venom Performance which costs roughly 28,000 rupees. Now not a lot of tuners or it's basically unheard of in the tuning community that this 6 speed torque converter gearbox has a TCU tune available for it so this particular car also isn't running a TCU tune nor have we heard any other tuner having a TCU tune available for this thing. Maybe that's something still uh, happening in the research and development process of all of these brands. But now the power figures of this car are 150 45 bhp and 250 newton meters of torque but there are a couple of more mods done to this thing so let's shut the engine bay and talk about those so the other mods that have been done to this car are the wheels tires and this is basically one of the most common rim that you see on most Volkswagen uh, project cars but I don't blame anyone because Lenzo, Jaeger, Dynas and Volkswagen well they just go together and on this Virtus with these blacked out wheels yep they really do look the part and they're wrapped around in some Michelin uh, primacy tires so this wheel and tire combo roughly costs 75,000 uh, for the rims and 75,000 for all four sets of tires so definitely something that you should do because the Virtus's ground clearance and ride height is a little bit too much from the factory it looks like kind of like a SUV ride height so definitely it needs to be lowered and this thing has also been fitted with lowering springs so it has some Cobra lowering springs and those cost roughly 28,000 rupees this is basically all of the mods that this particular car had so let's jump into the interior talk about the interior for a little bit and then take it out for a spin and see how it feels let's talk about the interior and well the Virtus's interior is not that different to anything else that its siblings have but everything has just been rearranged in a different manner and it definitely looks a little bit more premium than all of its siblings so first of all you have this amazing looking VW steering wheel it's the same steering that you get in the Tygoon uh, and the best part is that you get paddle shifters from the factory. Vento Polo owners might be knowing the struggles of getting a good steering wheel with paddles. So this is something that Volkswagen has listened to the enthusiasts and has given from the factory. You get tons of controls for your infotainment system and your instrument cluster. Talking about the instrument cluster, since this is the top of the line Virtus, you get the digital instrument cluster which is pretty nice. The infotainment system is also very intuitive, very easy to use and like I said, this being the 6-speed torque converter gearbox your uh, gear selector is over here in the middle and it is illuminated as well so let's stop blabbering start the engine and let's see how it sounds we at the drivers hub love our value for our money and that's why we always promote you guys building your own car that you've got in your garage instead of going to a showroom and buying yourself a performance car that is so much more expensive that's the same way we try to live our life with our wallets. This is a slim little astronaut wallet. It's much cheaper than a normal branded wallet. So you can get many more different colors in the same style. They're super slim and they're made out of really good leather. It's got a lot of slots and a favorite slot with a tab so that you can pull out your favorite card. Mine is my driver's license. You've also got quite a lot of space to keep quite a lot of moolah inside and a hidden coin pocket. So, 
I've been using this wallet for the past two months and it looks just as good as new. It fits super slim inside my butt and it is not a hindrance at all to use with gloves on bikes. I love my little astronaut wallet and that's why I am pushing you guys to go to littleastronaut.in and use the code launchcontrol15 to get yourself a 15% discount on your next little astronaut wallet purchase. Check it out. What is the 1 litre TSI feels like? We'll just give it a quick little acceleration. Little bit of turbo lag, but once you're in the boost, this thing actually moves. Yup, it's pretty fast and it's pretty loud. And that is the only one thing that I don't really like about the 1 litre TSI because it's a 3 pot, it doesn't sound that good and yeah, it just doesn't shut up once you put on an exhaust. Personally, I would uh, put on a little bit of a quieter setup but I mean, everyone has their own preferences and if the owner of this car who is Sandeep likes the way that this thing sounds, well, that's his own preference. So, this tune is pretty nice. I love the way the power is being delivered. And maybe a TCU tune is needed, but like I said, TCU tunes are basically unheard of for this six-speed torque converter. So maybe that's something that you'll have to wait for. But regardless, once this thing gets moving, it is pretty, pretty quick. And it's astonishing that this is a one liter and a three cylinder. And I think so you guys already know all of the cool little things about the 1 litre that it's an up GTI sourced engine uh, you know it's better than the 1.2 TSI so so let's talk about everything Virtus instead of the 1 litre TSI and why does the Virtus have the most hype when it comes to all of its siblings well I think so it is the best looking car out of all of its siblings just the way it sits the way the headlights look the tail lights look the colors that are available I think it's just a very epic looking car and moreover Volkswagen is known to have some really sporty looking sedans and hatchbacks and this basically continues that legacy in a very good fashion and more impressive is that this is an Indian made car that looks so good I don't think anyone disagrees with the fact that the Virtus looks good and especially after these Cobra lowering springs which just adds a little bit of more stiffness because a stock Virtus to be very honest it's very very roly-poly in the corners but these uh, lowering springs definitely do add some stiffness and definitely the stance of the car has improved by quite a lot. Uh, when it comes to the tune and the engine well like I said the exhaust is pretty loud the tune is very linear uh, would I do this to the 1 litre TSI definitely because you just get that added extra performance. And if you've ever driven a stock 1 liter TSI, there is quite a lot of turbo lag. The engine just doesn't respond in the way you want it to. And after this tune, the air filter, the downpipe and everything, it has completely changed the way this Virtus feels and drives. Let's just give it a quick little pull. Still has a little bit of turbo lag, but once you're in the boost, It's pretty, pretty quick. And I think so Venom performance have done some really, really impressive things with the 1 litre TSI. They've done up this 1 litre TSI Polo and it basically runs the same times as 
Alora 1.8 TSI Stage 2 and that is absolutely bonkers. Let's talk about the interior because this car has some VCDS tweaks as well. If you go into the infotainment, you have this sport display or something like that. You have your rev meter. It has a boost gauge built in and it has a speedometer and it looks really, really cool. You also have your instrument cluster up in front. You have uh, this central dial in the middle which shows you your revs, uh, your gears and everything. Yep, it's just a very well well-rounded car and since this is the top end model you get the sunroof as well as the ventilated seats considering that you can build a Virtus 1 liter stage 2 in around 2.5 lakhs and the most expensive things being the wheels and tires which them which those alone cost 1.5 lakhs well this is a pretty pretty good deal because you have an awesome looking car I mean I love the way the Virtus look it looks like a Jetta mixed up with a Vento so looks really nice especially the back end and once you've lowered it you've put on some a good set of wheels you've done your stage two this is a epic little daily driver to have so yep this is a build that you should definitely consider if you're looking to buy a Virtus one liter it's super cool to see that the Virtus has finally started to get modded and even all of the other siblings. A big shout out to Check Engines and Venom Performance for hooking us up and a big shout out to Sandeep for lending us his car. It's definitely a really really cool looking car. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of the Virtus 1 liter TSI. Would you mod it or would you keep it stock? Comment all of that down below, subscribe to our channel and I'll catch you in the next one.